Hola! Today I show you how I solved the lag in the leak jelly bean uh, of the Samsung Galaxy Beam Projector smartphone. Uh, it works great for me and uh, I don't have any problems with uh, jelly bean anymore, any lag problems or force close problems. The first part, in the first part I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain you how it works. Uh, the second part I will demonstrate you um, that it really works for me and I'm going to open around 17 apps on my phone including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth turned on and I'm going to play Dead Trigger 2 on a high re resolution with the PlayStation 3 controller and uh, with the projector screen turned on. So, uh, what do you need in order to uh, solve the lag in Jelly Bean? You need a rooted phone. If you don't know how to root it, just go to my channel. I made a video of uh, a routing video there. And uh, an app that can change the CPU governor and uh, the I.O. scheduler. Um, the apps that um, you can use are uh, voltage control, uh, which is free, or set CPU, which uh, costs a little bit. I show you um, the procedure on the voltage control, because it's free. Um, what is the governor? Uh, it simply tells the CPU inside how uh, to behave in certain situations. Um, the I.O. scheduler means uh, it's for input and output data stream of your smartphone. Um, and um, I will add links uh, with an exact description of what actually I'm talking about uh, to the video description below, as always. So, is it safe? Uh, yes, it's safe because uh, you, you just change settings that the phone uh, or let's say the kernel to be to be exact already offers. Uh, how about battery life? It uses uh, a bit more battery when the phone is um, active, so turned on, but uh, when it sleeps, so if the, when the display is turned off like this, um, I got great results. Within 10 hours uh, during the night when I was sleeping, I didn't even lose one percent of battery uh, life, which is, in my opinion, fantastic. Before I lost two to three percent. So um, now we come to the next part. All right, now I show how it's done. Um, you need uh, always the. F um, that's the most important thing with all uh, everything you you change on your phone. Do a backup. Um, of your data before that, otherwise in case something goes wrong, uh, then uh, then you are screwed. <laughs> and uh, the way I would do it, if it goes wrong, um, you can do the backup with uh, the app Titanium Backup. And uh, if something gets wrong, you can then, uh, for example, you get stuck in a boot loop, you can then uh, flash Jelly Bean again, um, and you can put the Titanium Backup back on your phone, and um, like that you don't lose anything. Uh, this is for Jelly Bean. I, as I just said, if uh, if you want to try this procedure on uh, Gingerbread, there is a clockwork mod for Gingerbread already. So, um, but on Jelly Bean, unfortunately, not yet. The reason why I'm saying that is um, because let's go to the app. Uh, so voltage control. First of all, it will ask you for root rights. You have to obviously say yes. And uh, the second thing is that uh, it will ask you to um, make uh, create a clockwork mod file, um, a recovery file in case something goes wrong. Um, but as I said, uh, it's pointless if you if you click on OK to create the file if you don't have a clockwork mod uh, ins installed on the phone. That means on Jelly Bean it doesn't exist yet. So if you have a gingerbread, you can try this procedure on gingerbread, and uh, there is. Clockwork mod already available on Gingerbread, and if you want, I can give you a link in the description how to get it. So, um, so that's the app itself, Voltage Control Light. There is an extreme version as well, but the light is free. So all you would need to do is you go on the input-output uh, scheduler, and you would click on Noob here, and on the CPU governor, you would click on Performance. Okay, so. Then you have to, because it will be on 200 megahertz most likely, you have to just put it to 1000. 
Um, I already did the setting, so that's why you will see it a little bit different. In the beginning, I think it will show you the, it will show like this, like CFQ, and it will show you on demand. But as we want to solve the lag in Jelly Bean, you have to change this to Noob and to Performance. And you have to, as I said, enable this to 1000. So basically both cores, because it's a dual core phone, uh, will run on uh, 1 GHz. So, and then after that, uh, you would need to click on Apply Changes. And um, you want to click here as well. And then you have to save it as boot settings. Okay? So you save that and you click here. And now it's saved. Uh, like this, when the phone boots up, it will automatically apply those two settings. Um, so, what, you, what I would suggest you to do is you just turn off the phone. Uh, it will reboot and then you are ready, then you will run it, this setting. Um, so, that's it. Um, now I'm going to come to the testing. I'm going to show you that it really works and that I can really open a lot of apps and I'm going to play a little bit that trigger too. Alright, so let's start this test. First thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close all the running apps. I have none here, so it's fine. Um, I go to the task manager and I clear the memory. So I want to start at zero, so I want to show you that it works fine. Uh, now I'm going to enable Wi-Fi. Okay, then Firefox. Pretty fast here, camera. Then YouTube, okay, then let's go to settings, okay, let's go to Play Store, I'm just going to randomly open apps so you see that it's actually much faster, uh, Skype, Okay, I don't need to load Skype, just show you how it works. My files. Then uh, let's try clock. Set CPU. That's the other program actually that you can use for it. I will give you a link in the description as well. Let's open root browser. As you can see, it's actually pretty smooth and pretty fast. The normal internet. Uh, BitTorrent, why not? Uh, voice recorder. Let's open the phone. Messaging. Okay, so as you see it's pretty fast, but now we're going to get down to it. Six axis, I'm going to open, I'm going to click on start. No, not this one. Start. I will enable my PS3 controller. All right, so that worked fine too. Let's close it. Now I'm going to open that trigger too. And I'm going to enable a projector. Project is on. Let's change the focus. Okay, play, take some time to load, nothing I can do here. Okay, so let's go to USA, let's start the mission, play. So this is connected now, so I show you quickly that um, that you can play that without lag as well, with that change. Bring it on. In options, uh, I'm, if you go to performance, then you can choose between the graphics. Normally, uh, the game suggests you 
to have um, low graphics like those. That's the presetting. If you click on auto detect, it will tell you low settings. But we're going to top that up and we have high settings. So I show you that it also works on high setting. I already enabled that from the beginning. And let's go. Just a little demonstration to show you that it works actually pretty smooth. And that's mind you on a setting which is not recommended for the phone. Okay, so that's it. End of the video. Uh, as you can see it works basically perfectly. There is no lag, no forced closing of apps. I have a lot of apps running in the background and I'm playing the Dead Trigger 2 game with uh, the PlayStation 3 controller without any lag. So I really hope that I helped you and I hope finally the lag in Jelly Bean is solved with my help. And uh, just stay tuned for more videos. There is so much more to come. And uh, that's it. Have a nice day guys and see you. Ciao.